<laughs> I didn't see you come in. How the heck are you? I can make it run a while. In this case, it's going to be shreddy. Because today, for the first time in a long time on my channel, I'm going to be coming to talk. I admit I don't do very often, but today I have a very special treat. So we're going to be analyzing a song by none other than the great and talented Taylor Swift. That's right, guys. You heard it here first. I'm a Swifty. So, put that thing in. And today's song that we're going to be working through is going to be um, All Too Well, which is a very popular song now with all the kids. So I thought I would go ahead and try to cover it. And in the meantime, do a little bit of soloing. So kind of starting a new series here shredding with various artists. So today is going to be shredding with Taylor Swift. So hang on to your hats, Swifties, and let's get to it. The soul ain't gonna shred itself. Let's rock. Okay, here we go. Let's try this progression out one more time here. See if we have the clean tone. It's still a little bit. It's a little bit weird. I'm just gonna play it like this. So there's your basic uh, selections right there. So you got your C, and then your G. The first part, you get the E minor, and the F. So it's a standard uh, one, 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 four, six, one, five, six, four. Standard one, five, six, four. Are you sure about six that? Six is also the minor, which is the E minor. So you got C, G, A minor, Next time around, it goes back, but at a certain point, um, before it goes into the chorus, or the, the pre-chorus, I guess you can hear it, it's going to go forever. Um, you're going to hit the C, and then you're going to go just like the regular. And instead of the F back to the G, then it goes. Resolves on the five. Then she goes back into the regular verse. Um, Here we are again on that little town street. You almost ran a red light. You were looking at me. sucks on a better side now. Um, so that does it for the rhythm portion of it. Um, if we come back, we're going to do some scales that we could possibly use to solo over. So let's see what happens. So actually, there's a couple parts. Um, at the beginning, you get the initial strumming, and so forth and so on. And then he comes in at the second, I think it's the second time around, he comes in with, wait, Like that, anyways, but it's pretty generic. You can do it, and you can kind of. <laughs> so let's 
that's the scale that we would be using for this. And so since we are doing a one, five, minor, four progression, there's a couple of scales you can use. You could go with C major, which is a major chord progression. That's the most likely one. So you could go C major, so it would be this one. The C major progression has no um, has no sharps or flats. All regular letters. So it's easy on itself. And you could also start that in the third fret of the C instead of starting all the way to hell down here on the eighth, eighth fret at the E string. You could come in with a, you know, something like that. So that gives you the, like a so it kind of gives you like a little bit of a C major feel, but it also. You start noticing, when you start checking out the A minor scale, which goes like this. And we all know that, well, we all know that. <laughs> See, that A minor is a relative C. In fact, there's only like one note difference. A is a C in the chord. <clears throat> so, it's all the same chord, it's the same scale. Ergo. Latin. Well, you can play an A minor in the solo as well. Right, so you're gonna do it, you can do an A minor scale. But most of the time you just want to use the pentatonic because you're gonna be sliding in from the C major pentatonic. Like those notes are there, all the C major pentatonic. Right? And then you, you can pick it up instead of sliding down the E, you can pick it up here, you can go down the this scale. So, like that, you know, because you're going to end on the C here. Are you sure about that? The question is, at the blues notes. Something like that, you can have the blues note. So, you got a couple of options there. And then if you want to go in another direction, you could just use a pure minor. You could use a triad. There's an A minor scale is also down here. Let me try it again one more time. Try that. All those things can be used in the um in the solar.
talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same.